I know you're wondering. Tiger Woods is also in the green, minus one, looking pretty sharp. We'll talk about that more in a little bit. But first, let's get to Brian Chung, who's always following the Fed action, which is really what is driving those markets in recent days, whether it's a move or the minutes or these comments that come out. Every little bit seems to move uh, mountains. Brian, what's the latest? Yeah, well, we uh, spoke about the Fed minutes yesterday, obviously that causing a lot of uh, kind of consternation within markets about how aggressively the Fed wants to take the punch bowl away with regards to its bond buying program. But I'll focus today on a number of Fed presidents that spoke beginning this morning with St. Louis Fed President James Bullard, who said, quite frankly, that he thinks the Fed is behind the curve on inflation, which he described as exceptionally high and said that substantial increases in interest rates will be needed. Keep in mind that the current interest rate after the rate hike in March is between the range of 0.25 to 0.5 percent. He's saying that we need to get somewhere closer to three and a half percent before the economy can start responding to uh, what would be lower inflation. Now, we are expected to also hear from the Federal Reserve Banks of Chicago and also um, Atlanta later on this afternoon. They have not begun the remarks quite yet. We're also expected to hear from New York Fed President John Williams at 4 p.m. today. So the flurry of Fed speak is not quite over just yet. Of course, we'll have the updates for you on Yahoo Finance. But as for tomorrow, interesting to see that there aren't any major Fed speakers, at least that I'm aware of, scheduled to speak. So it should be a pretty peaceful uh, Friday to be uh, watching the Masters, perhaps. By the way, I hope uh, Colin Morikawa takes it. I feel like he is due for one soon. <laughs> There you go, mixing it up there for us. Brian Chung, man, thank you so much.